Hi, I'm going to walk you through setting up a bot to send messages to a list of leads in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So I've already installed the bot and anyone can do so from here. Our template page, just click install. If you've got Axiom already in your Chrome browser, it will just be added to your account. Okay, so First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the bot running so you understand what it's doing. Then I'm gonna talk you through step-by-step step the configuration, the same configuration we talk about on the page if you want to read the written guide, and this will get your bot upset, your bot not upset, set up in, in moments. Okay, let's click run without any further ado, and let's watch the bot in action. I always enjoy this moment. Bots are pretty damn cool. So it's opening up LinkedIn. It's gonna scrape very quickly three links i'm just going to do a couple to sort of demonstrate i'm not going to do a long run and keep you watching forever now it's going to loop through open a mess open their profile page and then click message it's not going to send the message because we've got that disabled should type in a subject and then we're looking for it to type in the next message well we'll have to debug that a little bit because i could see there it doesn't seem to be sending the um the, the body of the message there. Okay, let's not worry about that. Let's stop the bot now. Now you've seen what the bot's gonna do. It'll loop through your lead list. Let's show you how to set it up and we'll solve that little bot in a error. User error, I'll sort of the error on the way. Okay, thank you. Let's click stop. You can see it's looping there. Start with the bot. So the first thing you have to do with the bot, now I'm going to tab into the um, sales nav page I've got already set up. The first thing you'll need to do is just make your selection. So you'll need to use a live, or no, sorry, a saved, um, a saved lead page from Sales Navigator because this means the search has been stored so we can then share that search on the cloud or on the desktop and we can scrape the content generated from it. So I've got, I've got a couple of lists set up already myself that I can use. And these are of second, um, second order connections. So what I needed to do was open up step one. I get the URL of that saved lead list and I simply selected the data. Let me show you how easy that is. It's point and click. So column A, I literally, let me just reset it for you. Reset the selections. By default, it's on the link selector. All I did was this. Click on the name, click on the next. I get the repeating back pattern, job done. Same for the column B, I added, basically wanted to select the name, so I used the, the name selector here, then repeated it, clicked once, clicked again, that was done that quickly, press complete. Now, when you're gonna do a bigger run, you will also need to set the pager, that's pretty easy as well with Axiom, because you can just scroll down, take a look at the pager, you can see that it says next. Now, I've just flipped the um, custom selector tool to the top so we can clearly see it. Now I use this neat little feature, feature of Axiom here, use element text instead of HTML. So we can select an element by the text and because it's the only element on the page with next, that's what I did. So it makes it really easy to click press complete. Okay, so that was the pager set up. And like I mentioned, um, a little bit, we're, we're doing a test run when I showed you the bot. So we're gonna do max results of only three here. We're just going to do three are messages so that's done and we can change that when we do a run for real but the first run i think we should always do is a test run okay step number two this is a split name into columns we use this to break the name up and um so we can then post a custom message into um a, a post the personalized message but i.e we add the name i should say that so we use this step, it's already got the scrape data in it, so we don't need to do much here. It's going to split the first name and the second name because we specified it's starting from column B. Okay, let's, let's go on. Now this is step three, the interact step. This is the step that automates the browser. So it'll basically do the clicking of the message button, the entering of the text into the inputs. And these are all sub steps of the page interact step. Okay, so we're going to set those up one by one. So the first step is the go to page. Now, the data we're passing in here is the split name data, and we're just passing in the URL we've got there. Press save, and it's going to loop through those URLs. You'll see this loop come on here. 
Next, we're gonna to have to click the message button. So let's open up an actual, actual profile page. Here, let's click save, making sure. And what do we want to do here? We want to basically click on that message button. Now I've shown you the neat little trick before where we do the custom selector and we can do it by text. So we literally do that here. Let me just flip, flip this custom selector tool to the top again and you can see the message button highlighted there that's pretty neat so let's just press complete we don't need to do anything there so that button's ready to click on message now here are the, the two enter text steps so the ones that enter the data into the field we had a bit of an issue with one it wasn't passing data to the to the body so let's sort that out so you can enter text just in the box that you want to put in your subject line here. The first one is, is the subject line. Now, if you need to reselect these boxes, sometimes from time to time, if the classes change on the page, you may need to reselect them. I would suggest typing some dummy data into the message, it can be anything, and then selecting the, the field, just like that, press complete. Simple as that to reselect and then test your bot again. You can just click run. Let's keep going. I added a bit of a wait here because I'm going to debug this. So this is the next part where it's going to um, type in a message into the body here. So let's just right, try reselecting that. And press complete. And here, I'm just gonna show you how I constructed my message because you can do the same. You can just delete it all, press high, and then select the data from the split text, and you'll pass, via this token, you pass the, the first name in, and then you can start personalizing your message. Type it in here. You can also add the surname if you wish. So that's that step set up. And I will ignore the wait for now. The final step of the interact is clicking the send button, the all-important send message button. You'll see it's grayed out with a cross through on the number. That means it's disabled. So when we do our test runs, we disable the send so we don't make a mistake and send a message we don't want to. Once the um, we know the bot's working how we want it to, we re-enable that step and then the bot can go through and send the messages. But for now, I'm just going to leave it disabled. When you go live, you can enable the step and the template will come with it disabled. Please make a note of that. Right, the last step is the Google Sheet step. And then we'll go back to testing the bot and making sure that the um, message is, the body of the message is fixed. So the Google Sheet, we just write the names and the, the um, names and the URL of the person we sent messages to. Basically link your sheet here, choose the tab in the sheet Make sure you've got the right data connected, in this case, split name data. We're gonna write the URL and the first and last names. Then, all importantly, add to existing data. Why add to existing data? Because otherwise it'll overwrite every time you um, write to that sheet. Okay, so that is the setup of the bot. If you follow all of that advice, you'll get it set up really quickly. Then you can just run and test until you're happy with the bot. Okay, let's do another test run on the desktop. Let's just see if we can get that body message being entered. So we scrape the links. Now we should see message, title, nobody being entered so let's just stop the bot there and try a new selector now ignore that error and this is where the body Let's try selecting when some text is typed in. Press run. 
see what happens. Move me out of the way. And so that was indeed the fix. Let's just check it again. So we basically reselected it with some text typed into it, probably changed the active class. And you can see the personalized message. Cool. So that's the bot debugged. Sometimes you have to, to work away at it a little and change the selectors, fiddle with the environment a bit. Browsers can be challenging, but get it working and you can see now I'll be ready to send my message. Thank you very much. And one final note, if you like the video, please click subscribe. Also, we are here to help. Do visit our website axiom.ai slash support if you need some help. And remember, these bots can be personalized how you want them. You can just open, add some more steps. You can drag and drop and reorder just by simply double clicking here and moving steps. So it's a pretty cool tool. You can build the bots and personalize them to how you want. Thank you.